Yo, what's going on, guys? Back on another trivia video, and today we have the Utah Jazz review. Today we're going to see if I'm a bandwagon or if I'm a true Utah Jazz fan. And this, this says, this is a quiz about my favorite NBA team, the Utah Jazz. If you're not a fan, it should be easy. Yeah, I am a fan. This should be easy, okay? Which city were the Utah Jazz located in before moving to Utah? That would be New Orleans. Then, whose nickname is the mailman that used to play for the Utah Jazz? That would be Carl Malone. And how many career assists did John Stockton have when he, when he retired in the third three? I believe it's 15,000. I know he is number one. How many teams has Jeff Hornacek played on, re on before he retired in 2000? Dang, I don't know this one. I really don't know this one. Man, I'm, I'm going to move on. At which All-Star weekend did John Stockton and Carl Malone win co-MVP awards? I don't know this either, dang. No Utah Jazz player has ever won the most most improved player award. I don't know. I don't think we have. I'm gonna say that's true. John Stark attended which college while playing his college well, playing in college his college basketball Gonzaga. I'm pretty sure they also lost the March Madness this year. Mark Eaton to a Utah Jazz record for which category? Uh Dang, this is kind of hard. Jerry Sloan was the first coach in Utah Jazz, in Jazz history to with 100 victories. I believe that is true. I might be wrong, though. Probably wrong, but I'm going to go with true. Mark Eaton set a Jazz career record for which category? Block shots. And it's played. I'm just going to look up Mark, Mark, Mark Eaton's name. I know who he is, but, like, I really remember him playing on jazz or that. Not showing up. Uh, I'm gonna go block shots. It might be minutes played though. I have a feeling that it might be minutes played. Name the former Utah Jazz, damn former jazz player who set a professional record for record by playing in 1,041 consecutive games. Gail Goodrich. I don't know. Uh, maybe Gail Goodrich. <laughs> wow, that was bad. That was pretty bad. That was kind of disappointing. I'm, I know I'm not a bandwagon for Utah Jazz, so I know I'm not. I'm a diehard Jazz fan, and I'm not just liking them because they're good, because I've liked them, like, for six years, or, like, a lot longer since I could ever, you know, watch basketball. How many teams has Jeff Hornacek played? I'm going to go with three. Might be two, but which All Star game did John Stockton and Carmelo win? Call out MVP awards. Well, not 1993. And yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't think I did very well, to be honest. Should've done better. Let's see what I got. I got the first one right, second one right, third one right, fourth one right, fifth one right. Dang, Andrew Dainley was the first to win it, and so I was wrong in that one, but most improved player. So I got 8 out of 10. 80%, not a bandwagon, that's pretty good. I did have a feeling that it was Ron Boone and Adrian Dantley. I should remember that, I should remember that, okay. That's gonna do the video. I'm not a bandwagon than we touch as. Thank you guys for watching. And please leave a like and subscribe and bye.